Ah, uh, back to the calming music of one of my favorite games, Universe Sandbox 2. So, let's get started. This episode is named Bye Bye Earth because we're going to come up with the most creative ways possible to get rid of our humble planet. And so, let's quickly get rid of annoying trails, get rid of the labels, and get to work. So, number one. We'll start with realistic ways. Um, the most realistic way, obviously, would be to hit it with an asteroid. So let's let's do something small first. Here we go. And we're gonna see it fly by the camera in a second. It's going to hit somewhere on Africa. I'm pretty sure. Unless, oh, there it goes and. BAM! Yeah, we can't even see the damage that did, it's so small. I mean, there's little marks, but that wouldn't do that much. So now, number two. Quite a bit larger now. We're going with... Yeah, quite a bit larger now. <laughs> I'm not gonna read out the numbers in scientific notation, that'll just sound dumb. Um... And this is going to put a bit of a dent on it. Here we go, so we've got an actual shockwave this time. It's traveling pretty quickly, and um, quite a bit of debris, not a ton. If we go down to the surface, let's see what it looks like. Whoa, that would be so scary. Ah, see all the debris, and you can see it crashing down, explosions all around you. Like, what's going on? And then you, you get down in your bunker that you have, and um, you hide all day long just hide. Okay, so that, <laughs> well, Africa did grow a bit. This area here used to just be water, and now it does have a bit of land. Let's see if that heated up Earth a lot? No, didn't make really an impact. So, let's uh, allow that to calm down. Oh my! Big chunks of it! Oh no! Oh, if we look here, you can actually see there's a chunk of land missing. On the very right, you can see it isn't quite spherical anymore. The water is going to fill that in once it cools down. Oh! Ah, sorry about that barking. Um. So, America has. Oh my. Ah! Poor, poor Greenland. There, there goes Greenland, and Canada's been hit a little bit. Mexico is... Sorry, Mexico. I mean... <sighs> I could have made a Donald Trump joke there, but I'm not going to. So, uh, let's let this all cool down. Quite literally. And let these craters fill in. Now there's just dark spots where the... Uh, areas are a bit deeper so we can see where the craters are look at that it just kind of falls in now and let's do the next largest body oh so if you guys want to follow along that's just I'm just pressing the keys in order so now it's key number three this is firing series which is actually um moderately large large enough to, oh and we're gonna speed this up to the point where it's actually moving and actually let's go on the surface for this one the entire thing and let's look up so there it is, and we're just going to watch it as it comes colliding down onto Earth. Oh my. So now, this is where you should be saying, let's get the heck out of here. Of course, there's enough time because this is at 4 seconds per second, and it's going very quickly. This actually looks like the moon right now. Uh, not as light, but it could be confused. Um... It is really big, uh, and it's hit, you can see the flashing down there, 
and the crater is probably going to reach all the way over here soon. Maybe not. Oh my, it's being completely engulfed. Here goes the shockwave and massive amounts of debris thrown out. So let's see if we're actually hit by any of it. Oh yeah, look! We're right on the edge of the crater! Look at that! We can see the water receding because it's so hot. Oh no! Lava! The lava is getting very close. We aren't exactly on the lava. We're right on the edge. Oh, yeah, it's spreading over towards us now. I think I think that's it. We're gone. Now if we speed up a bit more, yeah, it's spreading too fast. Oh, that's so cool. We're right on the edge, so we can actually see how the game uh, expands the craters. So if we look up, this is the little ring from the center of the explosion. And um, let's go see a few particles over there. That was pretty awesome. I've never managed to get it so perfect center. Yeah, look how big that crater is. Um, so let's speed this up so all of these go away, and... Yeah. Oh! Oh, the debris, uh... I can't even really tell what side of the world this is. That's Australia, so... This is Asia. I didn't know if that was just stuff from the last craters. Um, yeah, America isn't so happy, uh, each is gone, except, uh, the United Kingdom is, uh, partly, uh, there still, we can see right under us if we go down onto the United Kingdom, yeah, you guys have water still, you can see that blue there, you, it's kind of lava you around, but, congrats, you survived, kind of. Except the shockwave probably would have killed you and stuff. But we're going to ignore that fact. So the Earth is actually too hot for water now. GG Earth. And... I could end it there, but we're just going to go one step larger. And fire the moon. Because why not? My oh my, I'm sorry that my dogs are barking. I don't know why... Probably because they're dogs. If they keep barking, I will pause it real quick. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so it's falling. Oh! Oh my. I took a little bit too long there. But we can see the uh, debris is actually like complete big objects, not just like little particles. You can see them coming out. And the, oh, yep, lava, lots of lava, and all this debris coming out, and Earth is now very much destroyed. Now, it's been destroyed, but it has not been totally and utterly annihilated. So, let's get that done with. <laughs> Bye, Earth. Th this is going to hurt Jupiter a tiny bit, too. Here it go. Oh, the debris from Earth is hitting Jupiter before Earth hits it. And here goes Earth. Now, I'm not sure that would exactly happen because Jupiter is mostly gas, so it may actually pass through the first few layers and kind of be absorbed. Although, Jupiter may be a lot um, denser than I'm imagining, so I could be wrong there. But, Jupiter has absorbed it. Oh. Absorbed it, and there are a lot of uh, craters. You can see all the shock waves coming out from all the different pieces of debris. And Jupiter has been hit pretty hard here. Uh, the heat is being carried through the atmosphere, and it is now glowing. Very bright. It's like a mini sun now. Well, look at that. It is actually really, really bright. Now, if it hits 10 million degrees Celsius, then we could consider it a star. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would be able to keep itself stable, though, at all. It needs to be quite a bit larger. Well, not 
that much larger, but when we're talking in this scale, it's kind of hard to uh, say words like small amount and large amount. <laughs> it's a planet, so <laughs> uh, um, so let's get a bit more creative now. So we are going to grab. Let's go back to the solar system and Ooh, there's so many things we could do to Earth. Now, let's do something kind of ironic. Let's get the smallest object in this game and shoot it at Earth really fast. So let's launch a how about We have to slow this down a lot more. Okay. Let's launch a golf ball at Earth. But this golf ball is going to be very special. It is going to be traveling pretty fast. Um, We're going to find light speed and set it to, let's say, 10 times the speed. Let's let's just go the whole way and go a hundred times the speed of light. So let me uh, do a bit of damage. So if we turn up the time step a bit so that we can see it actually moving. I don't think it's going in the direction we want it to be going. <coughs> it's going this way. So all we've got to do is stop time. Get the editor. Oh. Get the editor. Drag Earth over here, and we're good. Tiny bit of cheating there, but. Um. So good. So, we are actually going to hit Earth. Oh man, look how big Earth is when you're going from the perspective of a golf ball. That is to be expected. Okay, we're about to hit. And now, because we're going faster than the speed of light, things are going to get kind of weird. We've already broken physics. But, let's see what happens. Oh my. <laughs> we're entering the atmosphere. And, um, we're, we're falling. Tell how far we are from the surface by going like this, and we aren't very far from the surface. Oh, it's hit. Okay, so has it had any effect? None. No. It appears to have had no effect. What is that? That's uh, just a little asteroid. Um, well that was disappointing. Uh, let's just try something a little bit bigger then. Why not? Let's try... The third stage of Apollo 12. Oh, oops. Uh, I meant to, like, speed it up a bit more. So, this would do some actual damage, as you could expect. It's a little bit larger. It could, if that fell on someone's house or something, would it be very, very they have not finished modeling this, but I don't judge. <laughs> um, so we're just going to get its velocity. And, oh, here's its motion. Total velocity. Actually, relative total velocity, I think. And we're going to turn this to...
50 light speed. Okay. I forgot to turn down the speed a little bit. Now, Earth didn't even get hit by it, even though it technically did. It kind of just went through Earth. Um, let's try this again. Oh, did I lose that one too? No. Okay. So we're going to turn down time a bit. And we're going to do this again. Just go to motion. 50. Oh. 50 light speeds. And that. Ugh. Oh. Okay, I can't really do much about the barking. I'm sorry. Um, and we're incoming. <sighs> okay, we are back. Okay, the barking is gone, so we can begin our journey into the earth. I think the golf ball was just too small for it to even, like, register. But this isn't. Before, we did see the impact, so obviously it does do damage. Maybe not much. But at 50 times the speed of light, I think it's going to do quite a bit of damage. Okay, it's hit. And... What is that? Is that like a shock wave? What the heck? It appears to be a freckle on Earth. I, I don't really know. Oh yeah, it is a shock wave. Oh my god. The Earth just lost a bit of mass. Now it's only... Oh. Yeah, it's not technically one Earth. No, it is. What was it saying in moons? Oh my, look at that. Um, there has actually been <laughs> not a, even a small explosion. This is quite large. A shockwave going out all the way to Africa. That's pretty but that's still a very small crater. We can do better. <laughs> so, let's do the next logical thing. Take things a bit further. So this down. Fire it. It's moving, but not fast enough that I care. We're going to turn off time. And we are going to speed this up to, let's say, uh, so if we go 50 lights, yep, gotta slow down to have a lot more. Okay, we can't go slower than this, so we're going to go 500 times the speed of light. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, we are entering the atmosphere, and we are about to hit, and bye-bye third stage. It's hit, and now we should see that little freckle like last time. And yeah, this actually, yeah, 
At 500 times the speed of light, it actually does do quite a bit of damage. Which... That's, that's respectable. Um... Considering how small it actually is. But that wasn't very um, impressive. I was expecting quite a bit more to happen. Let's turn Earth into a star. <laughs> Let's pump so much mass into Earth that it just becomes a star. This is taking way too long. Let's just put in a big number. Okay, that was too big. Oh, look at that Nova. Oh, did it turn into a Quasar? Yeah, it's become a Quasar. That's actually pretty cool. I've never seen that in this game. Um, looks amazing if you go from this side. I think it's a Quasar. It looks like one. Um, yeah, I probably should not have made the number that big. Let's go back. And for the last thing, we're just going to up Earth's mass until it gets to ridiculous proportions. We're going to slow this down a bit, so it's just slowly spinning. And Earth, as much as I like you, we have to do this. It's for science. Science is fun. Science homework is not fun. But science is fun. Oh. Things are getting a little bit cold. I just saw more ice appear. Unless that's just because it's becoming like winter, but we're not going that fast. Um, yeah, the entire globe is encompassing itself in ice. Maybe not the entire globe, but I, uh, I see a bit of ice forming. Um, Earth is now big. Really big. To the point where it's actually now compressing its... Now, if we shrink Earth again, we'll go back. Oh my god. It's, it's heating up. Where is it? It's turning red. So I'm going to assume it's heating itself up. Um. Let's, let's go for it. Earth. Make us proud. So, Earth is going to continue getting smaller because it's mass, it's going to cause gravity to increase, pulling itself together, creating heat. Once it hits 10 million degrees Celsius in the uh, core, it will begin fusing hydrogen. Now, it has no hydrogen, so it's kind of screwed, but now it's started, and we can see the nice uh, plasma sun. There's the photosphere, we've got the corona, <laughs> yeah. It's very reactive because it's a fairly small star, so let's uh, make it bigger now. Let's make it the best star ever. So now it's white, which is the kind of middle star. It's not really yellow anymore. It's pretty active. It's throwing out flares and stuff, and we're going to continue making it bigger. Oh, now it's got really big flares. It's not a happy star anymore. It's turning Okay, maybe now it's white. Yeah. <laughs> but it's going to start becoming blue. Okay, it could not hold itself. Um. But let's just keep adding. What's the worst that can happen? It's like shooting out a ton of mass, but it's not actually doing anything. It's 
all okay. Wow. If you look on the top right, there are some pretty impressive solar flares going on. And we're just going to keep making it larger, because why not? Now that it's a Nova Remnant, I don't think it... Oh my. Now the sun is getting very attracted to it. So attracted that it's getting... Oh no. Oh, slow down. No! My work. <laughs> my oh my. Uh, that is a black hole. And this is a supernova. The thing I realize that's really cool is if you... Hey, you can see, uh, let's see how Saturn's doing. It's kind of hot, you know. It's being, like, pulverized by the heat. But something interesting is if we create a new one. These are actually dynamic, so... Uh, if I add a... I just need to add something small so that... Oh, oops. So that I can use these ones. So if I shoot a... Sun. And this is going... This way. And if I shoot another sun... This one's going... This way. Um, when they hit, something very interesting will happen. Here it goes. And... They're going to hit. Oh, look at that. They're, like, right next to each other. There it goes. Now watch this. The supernova is actually... Really? No? Dang, I made it happen before. Oh, well. If you check out my other videos, in one of them, I managed to make it so that the supernova sprayed out in two sides. Oh. I know how I did that. Um. We can do this. It's pretty easy, actually. Just do the same exact thing. But we make one of them go insanely fast. So let's slow this down from 1.2 to very, 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 very slow. And we're just going to turn its velocity up by... Uh, just... Oh, put a few non-numbers in there. Now, if we manage to make this, like, stop moving, if we put a... <laughs> if we put another star, um... Where the heck is the sun? Star... Where is the sun? I want my sun back. By that, I don't mean like. N never mind. Um. I'll just press 8. And now they're going at ridiculous speeds. What? This is going at like light speed. Why is it not moving? Oh, is this one also going relatively at like light speed? Oh, that one went through that one. <laughs> okay, we're we're going to do this the hard way then. Oh my god, it's moving that fast. That's that's impressive. 
we can probably get it to hit if we're just... <laughs> Are you kidding me? No? You just... No. <sighs> well, guys, it was an attempt to recreate it. Thank you guys for watching me uh, destroy the earth again. Uh, like and subscribe if you would like to see more. And, yeah. Also, if you didn't check out my ICBM plugin I made for Minecraft, go check it out and rate and review that. I'd really like it if that kind of got out there because I put a lot of work into it. So thank you.